be sneaking letters back today. And guess what we got? Tiny core. Tiny core. Oh yeah, we've got Tiny Core 4.0. 4.0 today. Yes, indeedy. Now, this is the vanilla version, and it's not multi-core. This is just a Tiny Core, the basic 11 meg download, or 10.9, or whatever it is. And super nice, fine. It looks this time, too. Not just a basic plain background, but a nicely blue to light blue one. Looks very nice and modern. Very, very nice indeed. Things have been changing in Tiny Core. I like it very much. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, installed it, as you do. You know, do a bit of installing, as you do. What we got? So it's basic tiny core at the bottom, plus some bits I've already installed already. So we get exit, a term, a terminal. Your app's all it to check out what apps you got. You get a basic text editor, okay? I'll open that for you. Look, it's basic. It's so basic, I'm not sure if you can write on it, okay? Then we've got run, that's just a run command basically for you. Uh, an app browser, forgot about that, sorry. The app browser is where you get all your apps from, of course. And millions and trillions there are here too. So you can just go down at your heart's content to have a little butchers of what you want to install. Okay, that's pretty good, wasn't it? You've also got your panels for setting up stuff. I mean, most of you won't even have to touch much of this, really, to be really honest with you. I mean, you can use your W bar, you know, you can change the size and side of it. Shall I do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Look, okay. We'll change it from the bottom. We'll just put it to the right and we'll apply. Do you see what I mean? Just, you really don't have to do much to it at all, really. But I'll leave it there, just, you know, just for a laugh. Yeah, yeah, for a laugh. No, honest, for a laugh. Okay, we've got a run command, we've got the mount tool. Because remember, we've installed it, so we've got mount a drive, by the way. Yeah. Well, I've installed a sander, so now, being it's on the right now, you see, you can't see the right in very well, can you? I didn't thought about that one, did they? No. We've got a sander CD ripper. We get Firefox for my browser. Thank you very much. Just open them up and see them looking. Open them up and have a look. Okay. Oh, we're at home. So I'll tell you what we do. We're going, we're going to Tiny Core. Tiny Core. And we'll check out the web page. Now remember it's using the new Linux kernel as well this time around. And I'll just show you. you go down here and you can have a little look, mate. Okay. Major upgrade, which there is. It's running a lot smoother. It's not gone bang on me this time. Sometimes when I've been playing the of it, it just loses some of the settings. But this time it has not. Now we have kernel 3.0.3, which uses busy box as you know, improved extensions and stomach comes with abilities, improved MBD support, improve, 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 improve. It's actually improved a bit, okay? Yes, and very nice it is too. I've not installed Flash yet, by the way. No, I haven't. And you can get Chromium for your web browser. You can get loads of web browsers, so don't worry about it too much. I've also got Inkscape Lite I've installed here. I'll quickly show you. Inkscape Lite. Inkscape Lite. Very nice. Okay. Now, normally I put Abby Word and Genie Merrick on there, and you go, Well, what about this then? What about of LibreOffice? And you're going, Nah, it's not in time. Well, it is, yeah. It was last time as well, just didn't put it in last time. So, I look up their uh, writing program, what a text document. Now, a lot of people have been complaining about um, this at the moment. LibreOffice saying it's getting really slow, it's really lagging behind. And I must say, I've got to agree with them. But it is there, okay? It is there for you to use. Not sure how many fonts you've got. So you ain't got many fonts. They all need installing from the app browser. They all have to be installed and stuff like that. Man, I don't know what it's saving to. So have a quick look in this tiny core version, by the way. Let's have a look. Save as. Let's have a look. Oh, ODF version or ODT. Oh, that's not too bad, really, is it? It's just sometimes when you're formatting and stuff like that, it just doesn't... Like if you're importing over, say, Microsoft Office for, say, schoolwork and you've done a thing and it's got pictures on it and you try and get it up and sometimes it just doesn't work. Hmm. But that's nothing to do with Tiny Core. That's down to the boys at Libra Office, okay? So that's sorted out. Now you're thinking, well, is that all Tiny Core is? Well, no, actually, it's not. You don't just have to have this desktop if you want, right? You can have any desktop you want. And so in a few seconds time, I'm going to show you something. Yeah, so just hang on a minute. Well, as if by magic, we're in Tiny Core still, but it's slightly changed. Yes, it's Tiny Core with XFCE. See, I'll come from the first one. I've just magically come over to XFCE. As you can see, it takes a little while to download all the stuff for XFCE, but if this is how you want your Tiny Core desktop, this is the way to have it. You can tell it's Tiny Core because, of course, we've got here the app browser. So if I double-click the app browser, it comes up and all the stuff is in there. Hungrily of me, Dory. Oh, yes, indeedy. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, it's still Tiny Core. But XFC style. So we go to Applications menu. It's all there, but it's just this style. So I'll tell you what we've got here. Like. Now, Abbey Word, as I've got Abbey Word on this one. This is a different uh, install I've got here, by the way. Abbey Word, I'll put in it as for the wordy stuff. Here you go, look. All works all right. Remember, LibreOffice was the last one. 
I've actually got three installations of Tiny Coil. The next one will be LXDA. You'll see that in a minute as well, right? Okay. I've got Chromium and Firefox in this distribution here. I've got here. So I open up Chromium for you. You can have a look. Choose. Of course, I want to choose. There we go. Comes up nice. XFCE Styly. Okay. Which is very good to me. Don't you think so? Well, I think so. I don't care what you think, really. I think it's very nice. Don't you think so? Yes, of course you do. So yeah, just because you're tiny core doesn't mean you can't have the desktop environment you want. You can get KDE, you can get Enlightenment E17, and you can have GNOME as well. I have had all of these running, although KDE is a bit of a bugger, to be really honest with you, to get running properly. So what we'll do now, we're going to go straight into the next one, which will be LXDE. So in the next couple of seconds, you'll see the screen change again. Well, as you can see... We're now in LXDE with Tiny Core again. So you've got the vanilla. I've done you the XFC and I've done you the LXDE version as well. So you can see. All still Tiny Core, but all with a different desktop environment. Now remember, as I said before, just a few minutes ago, you can get whatever one you like, really. Open box is available if you want open box and all stuff like that. JWM is even available. That's Jim's window manager. All stuff like that. It's all available. I'll quickly show you how it works. That's, you know, it's easy peasy. Look, it's exactly the same. There's no different. Leafpad has got your text editor here, though. It's a bit different. That's nice. A nice little addition because you're using LXDE. You've got exit and terminal and documents because it's LXDE, LXDE, LXDE. Yes. Did, did I say it was LXDE? No, I didn't, did I? No. Okay, then. So I've still got Chromium in this one. This is my third Tiny Core install, by the way. I've just gone through the whole three of them for you and patched them all together so you can see the different desktops and what you can do. So I've got to the app browser here. We're going to install something finally before we finish the video just to show you how easy it really, 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 really is. I'm just going to find something that's interesting to bloody put in, really, more than anything else. As you can see, it's got larger and larger and larger, the old repo. You know what I mean? It's really, really big and stuff like that. Myro is there as well, by the way. You obviously know what Myro is, the old TV thingy. Very good indeed. Blimey, blimey, blimey. Lovely mouse pad. Keep going. What else can we do to make it work? I don't know. But as you can see, there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff. So, oh, what about Opera? No, that's a bit of a long one. I want a, I want a short one. Oh, I'll show you one. A nice, easy one for you. There we go. The Record My Desktop is here, by the way. Yes. But also, Xfid Cap is here. So, we're going to install that. That's a nice little quick one. Now, whether it will show up in the menu is another thing. You may have to restart or may run, have to run it from the run command. It all depends. It's worked different every time I've got Tiny Core, to be really honest with you. But hey, anyway, we'll get that. Okay. So, we'll click on Go. And now, basically, it's downloaded all the stuff it needs. For Xvid Cap to do screen capturing in Tiny Core 4.0, and this one's the LXD one. Have I said that before? I think I may have, mightn't I? So basically, all we do now is just wait for the stuff that it needs to you know, do what it's going to do. It normally, I say this again, it normally gets all dependencies for you. I have had some problems where it hasn't done it, okay? But that was in different Tiny Cores. Yes, very, 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 very different ones. But as you know, it was my favourite distro of last year, so will it be number one this year? We're all going to find out in a month or so's time when I'm going to do my next top 10 video. Oh yes, or shall I make it top 15? Or top 5? I mean, what do you reckon I should do, really? I just haven't got a clue what I should do. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. I'll move the box up there. Remember, you can do other stuff while it's doing this if you really wanted to, but it's nearly finished now, so there's no point. Right. Xfid Cap is now installed. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? These are all installed, by the way. They're not live CDs or anything like that, so you know, don't worry about that. Now, will it show up in the menu? Let's have a look. Yes, it does. So if I click Xfid Cap straight there, in theory, it should come up. Now, as you can see, did it come up? No. Oh, that's a real pity. So it's obviously missing some dependencies there. See, this is the only thing you're going to have to go and sort out some dependencies, like I said just a minute ago. But on the whole, let's say on the whole, remember, it is a build-yourself distro at the end of the day, so don't expect everything to work perfect. And for 10 megabytes, pff, don't moan, mate. Don't even moan. You can't have everything for 10 megabytes. Nay, 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 nay. Anyway, Core 4.0. Lovely, super duper. Go and get it and try it out yourself. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye, bye. Bye.
Thank you.